Let us imagine the rainfall induced slope failure. In short, landslides can be initiated in slopes already on verge of movement, for example by rainfall. On the first hour, and you can see that the water table start to increase here and after like 5 hours or more cracks start to appear on the slope so you can see when the rainfall continue let's say when it's reached to like 24 hours actually it depends and sometimes the intensity is very high but here you can see the water table start to get too much and increase and then the failure occurred that is the case when we have something like this within the 24 hours the landslide occurred and here we go usually to uh, develop the uh, threshold for this event usually we need to find how much was the amount of the rainfall that specific hour okay and the time the rainfall gaze to give us the information about this specific time how you gonna select those stations for us we consider this is uh, one storm okay but let's say that we have some interruption here so this interruption is like maybe like 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 one hour okay or two hours can you consider this is a one event and this is another event or you consider them all as one event this is what we will talk about in the course later this is the contour line okay for all the steady area the red cross are the rain gauges and this is let's say this is the landslide that it's occur above so now in most of the research is considered that we need the attribute they take it from the nearest station let's say this is the nearest one okay and they are this is like far and this is even further however this is the just the special distance because if we take the 3d we can see that this the landslide here it's occur within this specific area that this station has the same height of this landslide okay and this is about the elevation so there is a huge difference in the elevation between this station and the landslide however this station sharing the uh, close elevation also this one it has nearest or close elevation from the landslide occurrence so as you know that in term of elevation if we talk about this station here we can see the wind it's different from the wind it's here let's consider this is a specific uh, uh, distance between this station and the landslide here and here we have one watershed okay this is one watershed so when you say that this station that it's here it's better than this one that you are taking two different watersheds okay and there may be uh, uh, like a mountain between these two uh, objects also if you look in, at here this is station is totally coming in a different watershed so you see the elevation here and it's a different regions but based on the approximity or based on the uh, what we call uh, 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 the density of the stations most of the research they are just taking the station which is nearer and it does not reflect what is actual reading or record for this specific landslide so we have elevation and we have something let's say the watershed even if we have within the specific aspect okay so the aspect that it might be within this direction and you have something like within this direction or we have something like within this direction so if the landslide happened in here if the station it's in this side so the aspect sun it might be different so if you go further with this analysis that we find that uh, even the dryness of the soil is different here so we went further to consider even the slope unit the additional to the distance but then we come to another problem so each station has its own flows missing data 
and its own settings or it's uh, uh, let's say its own dates so some of them started like uh, for like uh, like 10 years data but some stations just like three years okay and then let's say in in here that you have you found this is three stations they're all coming within for example like uh following the uh, distance that it's a close so all of them let's say they are all considered to be close to this uh, landslide within this criteria the elevation and the watershed let's say so in this case what will you do how you will take the record from each station and find what you are looking for like uh, uh, firstly you need to arrange the rainfall events as we said here that you should consider those gaps apply to all those stations second you need to uh, reconstruct uh, those uh, events in terms of what we will come and talk about in terms of accumulative rainfall so usually we take the those rainfall records that it's occurred within let's say specific duration and within giving specific amount of uh, uh, rainfall okay accumulative and those events that might be responsible for the what we call here the landslide so the landslide occur between like for example in the duration of like six eight hours one day and within like this amount of rainfall so then our target is just to find the line that it's taking all of this as a threshold okay and the maximum and the, the minimum and then we will be able to draw the equation okay so the equation of the what we call it the uh, power law equation is equal to the e plus minus the uh, scale or the intercept and this intercept multiply by the duration so duration also it has its own shape parameter okay so and this shape parameter which we call the slope uh, the slope of the power law curve in this equation usually when, uh, when everybody applied they ignore this which is the one of the most important which is the uncertainty okay so now we then after we consider all of this we can produce so how to solve all those problems within a specific tools that it can be automatically developed so to cover all the problems that mentioned in the scenario before here is Omar al Twaini and saying salam alaikum and welcome to all of you I'm a professional in GIS and geomatics engineering today I will introduce you the a new course the automatic extraction of the reference rain gauge and threshold for rainfall induced landslides using two tools deduce and CTRL tool we will use real data consists of landslides location with the date of occurrence and rainfall rain gauges with hourly record this is on the, uh, the uh, digital elevation model for the study area then step by step so the deuce is developed my myself and it's available also free to download from the github uh, website also the uh, ctrl tool is the calculation of threshold it's also available uh, free to uh, download uh, developed by mr uh, massimo the ctrl uh, it's well known uh, a model developed in r and how much it's efficient in the uh, producing the not only the thresholds but even the uncertainty related to the uh, scale and also to the uh, the slope of the power law curve as we mentioned the additional tool that i integrated with it's the deuce it's the uh, distance elevation watershed slope unit to select uh, the appropriate rainfall gauge that is related to the uh, uh, close to the landslides in terms of those four uh, parameters 
So this is the integration of these tools. Now it's written and uh, by all the, the both of the teams that it's developed that CTRL and by myself. And I would like to mention here that all the research collaboration done through the Scientist Adoption Academy website, which is the free online group-based academic social network that you can uh, contact and collaborate with any researcher that is interested in your uh, scientific research topic in a free platform that it has the uh, basic tools that you need to uh, complete your uh, let's say research article or you try to proposal or if you even you can develop your own uh, phd or master uh, research with the uh, collaboration with the all other scientists so the website talk about the everything about the, the design about the hypothesis and then we see how to download and install and we talk about each filter of the dues and we design the uh, ombrothermic diagram also uh, we will uh, get the uh, aridity index average monthly rainfall and also the uh, evapotranspiration uh, using uh, modest uh, data and then we will uh, get the results together and we justify it and we uh, try to understand everything related to it and also the uh, logical framework for all the the tools and the integration between them so we start first with the dues and we will use the, uh, the, the the data you have after we clean it we start to uh, try to get the uh, suitable rain gauges around the stations and using real data from the south korea which is uh, uh, it can cover all the uh, uh, like uh, uh, let's say huge data so you will see that if you in term of you have this amount of data it will easily to be processed or if you have smaller study area that will be each, even much easier and then we will try to find the parameters related to the uh, uh, input for the ctrl because the data preparation for the tool is the most important step after that, the code for you no need to get uh, intensive understanding for the code because the data itself will express itself inside the, the code. And also we will talk about the most uh, important aspects in the, inside the codes that it, you can change, manipulate based on your needs. So we will show you how to develop also the EVA transpiration uh, map using the models uh, data that it can be a useful input later on and uh, for each uh, uh, for each uh, filter inside the deuce we will talk about the inputs itself also we will try to arrange your data and manage it to be uh, to make it uh, uh, consumable uh, or understandable by the the code the R code because it's also a very critical uh, point but don't worry we'll do it all together at the end you will be shocked by the amount of the data the results that you can get out of the ctrl which is give you more confidence about your results and also about if there is some uncertainty or fluctuation in your uh, data input and readings so you will see everything about each station we will get uh, a big size of an output sorry so so for example this is the the output of the tool so we have the rainfall thresholds expressed by the pdfs and also you you have the excel file that you can produce by yourself separately so if we can see that we have huge amount of outputs related to the uh, probability from uh, uh, until we find the best solution and we plot it also i will show you how to plot everything separately so if you don't like to see this plot you can plot in a different way at the same time we reconstruct the rainfall conditions as we said that that is just the one that's responsible for the landslides and also we see that if we have uh, uh, discredited uh, uh, landslides that we couldn't find the match with this rainfall so as we said that those rainfall gauges couldn't tell us about those landslides so either there was 
no rainfall during this time or there is a missing data so the tool automatically will discredit this kind of landslides and then we will have you will have all the records based on the station itself and the record that is considered as a landslide when and uh, about the also the the the, the accumulative uh, rainfall again you will find the results for each station for example now here in total we have 126 okay so this is about our landslide so the inventory is 126 so in each you see here in each location it tell us you see this radius here this is the 15 kilometer around or as you like so then you can get all the readings related to this uh, event so when the rainfall start and again when stopped and when you ignore and when you consider the before or after so all of those details will be discussed in the course so at the end you will find that your results will be enhanced using the deuce uh, rather than using the just the uh, any uh, close uh, rainfall gauge in terms of you have a huge network offering gauges around the uh, uh, landslides also you will see that we, we will ignore some invalid uh, rain gauges automatically and then we will uh, uh, address the uh, all the uh, components uh, that it's uh, you can use it without having uh, extensive experience actually with the GUI because both the tools will be easily delivered and also it can be easily used and also it's very uh, fast especially that we will use a huge amount of data now and you can see also and uh, very flexible in terms of the inputs so the parameters can be changed based on your study area for example if you are uh, near to the equatorial or you have the summer and winter coming in the different seasons this is, can be also manipulated and then the most important thing that all of those tools are free to use free for public and free to download uh, and you can use even in the offline mode so no need to have an internet connection all the references will be provided with the papers also will be uploaded within the course contained so if you are ready to write a manuscript or technical report about the rainfall threshold that it's induced uh, landslide let's get started